something that you want to reach or achieve in your life. I mean, you're going to go through your ups and your downs, you have some bumps in the road. And as a musician, for me, personally, I went through some bumps in the road, you know, and sometimes I would second guess myself or I'd say, you know, or people would tell me, you know, maybe you're getting older, you gotta, you gotta, you know, maybe get a real job, all that type of stuff. And uh, I'll start back though, I remember I was in college, I was 18, I was at Wheaton College in Massachusetts. I got two of my old uh, teammates back there, and you know, I was playing basketball at the time. Guys, what do you think my shooting percentage was in, in college? 10%. 10% probably, probably pretty accurate, and uh, I was probably, what about minutes per game? Two! Two. <laughs> also pretty accurate. Um, I was killing it though, when we were up 27, I was the best point guard on that team in college. You know? <laughs> but anyways, I said, you know what, maybe, uh, maybe you know, you're not going to be the next uh, MJ, maybe it's time you start doing some other stuff. So I started really, I always loved music, but I didn't take it that seriously, it was just something I loved to do. and. Uh, I said, you know what, I started writing music and I started loving it, getting obsessed with it. And I'd write music, I'd go play these, you know, bars around campus or back home for like four people, whatever. So this is much cooler, Beacon and Theater, this is much, much better. And uh, anyway, I started a band. My band was doing great. It was some of the best years of my life when I started my band, um, Beach Avenue. And we were doing really well. We would, we would get, you know, some record companies talking to us, and I was like, hey, here, you know, it's happening, here we go, it's, it's gonna happen, finally. And then, you know, sometimes the calls would stop or something would fall through, and then you start getting scared, you start, you know, I started being about 27, and I was going, getting freaked out. Anyways, long story short, I ended up trying out for American Idol. And uh, I thought absolutely nothing of it, I promise you that. I remember, I remember my first audition, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. And, uh, I, I went, I got the gold ticket, and I was cool. And then, um, but when you get the gold ticket, you gotta realize there's still so many unbelievable, t unbelievably talented musicians that are still there, four, 400 or 300, I don't know what the number is. So to me, I had a band still, and we had a show coming up, and I remember Hollywood Week was about to start, and uh, I had to cancel a show to make it out to Hollywood Week, and I just felt like it wasn't what I should have done. I remember I went, to, I was back home, I said, Mom, I'm not going to Hollywood Week. I'm gonna play the show, I'm like, what are the chances of anything happening? She goes, I just think you should, uh, I just think you should do it. I just think, you know, you, it's your last shot at it. Go, go, give it. go give it your best, why not? And so, luckily I listened to my mom. Listen to your moms. But anyways, long story short, whatever your goals are, whatever you want to achieve in your life, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it, you're too old, you're not good enough, whatever. If you believe it, go after it. Give it everything and uh, you never know what can happen.